It's so beautiful where I'm at. I just wanted to pull out the phone and make a video here. Um, it's a very inspiring place that I'm at. And what I wanted to bring through is something that came through for me earlier today. And it's that when you're walking in alignment with truth, when you're living in alignment with truth, support and resources are built in. And you don't even have to trust. I mean, it can make your journey a little softer and more peaceful if you are trusting. Um, but you, you actually don't even have to trust. You just have to keep walking forward in alignment. And as you keep walking forward in alignment with truth, um, with your soul's blueprint, you could say, the support and resources will just flow into your reality at the perfect time when they're needed. And sometimes when we're walking in the path, in the direction of truth, the mind might perceive some type of shortfall or it might look for areas in your reality where it can say, hey, I'm not being supported here. It's like I'm walking the path of truth and you're not supporting me, God. It's like sometimes the separate self can start having this perception because maybe you're walking the path of truth and you've lost your job or something or you've run out of money or you're in debt or maybe your partner has left you. Or maybe you're starting to lose relationships and friendships are falling away. And, and so part of what happens when we're walking the path of truth is that our abandonment wounds might be triggered or we might have to face fears that we've tried to avoid our whole life that have kept us from following our calling. And so maybe you like you run out of money or you go into debt or you lose your partner or something. But if that happens, you'll notice that, oh, wow, it's happening and I'm actually okay. And it's not what you thought it would be. And you'll start to sense the intelligence in how things are manifesting in your physical reality. You'll start to notice the intelligence of like, oh, I, I ran out of money so that this survival fear deep in my belly could come up to the surface and be released so I don't have to be a prisoner to money anymore. Or, oh my gosh, I lost this relationship because this fear in my heart of unworthiness got to the, come up to the surface and be released and now I'm not a prisoner to needing someone anymore. And so the path of truth is also is, is, is synonymous with the path of liberation. So it's going to take you into the places where you're still a prisoner um, to fear, where you're still holding on to something in the external to that um, is like God, that you've made God, whether that's money or a relationship with someone. And the beautiful thing is, even as this is happening, even as you're having to confront a deep fear of yours, you're still going to feel very supported energetically because you are in alignment with truth. So even though the mind might try to convince you like, oh my gosh, look, we're not being supported. We took this big risk, whatever it is, we quit the job and we're not making any money. If like you're just starting to give your gifts as the source of your income, your mind might be trying to convince you of like, this means we're not being supported. This means we made a horrible decision. But if you actually just feel what's happening, you'll notice that you're just releasing fear, that you're walking through a doorway that maybe you've been like kind of circling around your whole life and haven't really wanted to, to face this deep fear, haven't wanted to walk through this doorway of like, what would happen if? 
And it becomes easy to call the mind's bluff in this scenario because like I have been saying, you feel source within you. You feel God within you. And you, and you, and you just can't help but to have this sense like, oh my God, it, I'm totally and utterly fine. It's like when you walk through these doorways of facing your deepest fears, whatever they might be on, on your path of liberation, you start to come into contact with this aspect of yourself. We could call this your true nature. And this aspect of yourself is, is unharmable. And it's, it's always okay. And it's, it's actually the part of you that's never afraid and that knows that this is all just a dream and that you're just dreaming what you're dreaming right now, whether that's a lack of money, going through a difficult breakup, losing your job, etc. You're just dreaming that dream to liberate your soul. Lots of chills. We're all just dreaming a dream we're dreaming. <laughs> Say that six times fast. To liberate to become free and I love it I love that sometimes we dream dreams that require us to face what we're most afraid of happening and we get to go through it and as we go through it it's like the fire of transformation it's like the fire of alchemy it's through going it's it's going through these doorways that transforms us the most that connects us to our true nature the most. And this is what alignment, the living in alignment with truth is gonna do. It's, it's gonna transform us. And how do we transform if we're not walking through fear, you know? It, it's actually when we're at our edge of our comfort zone and beyond that we're, we're, we're really starting to expand. So notice, watch how the mind will notice like, oh my gosh, there's lack here, there's, we're not being supported here. And you can just call it bluff because you'll feel within you, in your inner being, um, this light, this sense of everything's okay. And that we are being supported in the deepest sense. And then the external um, manifestations of shortfalls or breakups or lack, watch how they just resolve themselves over time and they don't need you to do really much about it and they're just here right now as a divine purpose to serve you it's like this lack will resolve itself once it's served you fully once you've released all the fear you were meant to release while in the circumstance of lack that you're in or in the circumstance of oh my gosh you know whatever it is run out of money lost the girl lost the guy lost the job So whatever it is for you that the mind is looking and pointing at as evidence, oh, I'm not being supported. Notice that that manifestation is only there to serve you. And of course it's going to transform as you transform. All right. And you're not even here. I just want to keep talking about this. Like you're not even here for it to transform. You're just here to get free. You're just here to know God deeply. And we can truly allow alignment to take care of the rest. We can allow the Divine Mother to take care of the whole thing. And really all that's required is that we just continue to walk forward in truth. And that's it. Much love.